Hi, I want to speak today about leveraging the value creation of tacit knowledge using generative AI. Uh, I call this video B because it has a complementing video, complementing clip that, speak about, that speaks about the fundamentals, about the theory, about the question whether knowledge can be also machine developed. Is tacit knowledge only something of the human being can be represented, exhibited by machines. So today we will speak about the second part. And as I said, these two videos complement each other, but are also independent. We will be speaking about the practical issues, how we can really, really leverage this value creation of tacit knowledge in organizations. So let's go back and remember that we that generative AI addresses all three levels of knowledge. It addresses the knowledge that's on the surface, the explicit knowledge, because it answers the questions of when, where, what, how, and whom. It also addresses the shallow, the tacit knowledge that's on top of our mind, very close to the iceberg uh, uh, ceiling which we can see. And that's the knowledge that is maybe more concrete and is very easy to you know, to tap into and to capture. But generative AI also addresses the deep knowledge because it enables us to recognize new patterns of work within the content that we have already documented. So saying that, using generative AI, we can reveal tacit knowledge. We can even share it and new artificial knowledge can be created and even deep knowledge. So let's see where and how can we do such. But before we start, we want to remember that we are not speaking about replacing ourselves as human beings. As human beings, we will continue to play a leading role because we know, we believe that human beings have advantages speaking about nuances, context, understanding the situation, understanding the DNA of the organization, having better critical thinking, have better uh, creative thinking, and knowing how to pack it everything all together. Maybe being more emotional, understanding, having emotional intelligence. But machines also have advantages because machines can better collect they can better connect by integrating. They can better synthesize. They can better summarize. And they can better translate. So when we augment these together, endless possibilities. And here we want to see how these possibilities are used for leveraging the value creation of tacit knowledge in organizations. So the first way is helping us as human beings to tap into our unconscious because when we tap into our unconscious we have a better chance of reaching that tacit knowledge and when we use conversational generative AI when we are speaking with the machine the machine is speaking with us and we are speaking to the machine the machine speaks to us back and forth we enable the optimal human machine augmentation so when we ask for information, we get new perspectives or things that we knew and forgot. And that enables us to see more, to widen our looking, our understanding, our picture. And therefore, we have better chances to tap into our unconscious. When we use the machine to structure our thinking, we can better tap into our conscience. And I want to demonstrate. Just a minute. Here you can see an example where we can tap into un unconscious, letting the machine lead us into future decision making. When we tell the machine we want uh, a better KM, 
in our organization and we come with a need and the machine speaks with us and we say okay to who's km i have to understand where you're standing what's the current state of km and we start answering saying okay km is recognized however as a tactical solution, not understanding its potential. Okay, let's fix that. And I'm continuing. And it says, okay, do you want to hear quick and dirty what other people have th thought? You can say, yes. And that gives us again ideas, because each one of, one of these questions enables us to see more than we thought about yesterday or a minute ago. And this gives us some ideas. And we don't have to copy these ideas. We don't want to copy them. That's only quick and dirty. However, we, they help us to remember something in our unconscious. Let's say continuous improvement. Okay. I want to focus on continual improvement. It don't, won't will do the work for me, but it will ask me questions. It will guide my thinking, my rational one, and my wandering parts of thinking, helping me look at the directions of our work. Here it ran a bit too quick. So we'll have to stop it and to continue later. But these are examples and ways of thinking and each one and one of these are not instead of me thinking, but are supposed to help me in designing the way what I can next do. And I'll close this and we'll continue. So when we consult generative AI, whether I'm asking it for information or whether in using it using its generative AI agents to structure our thinking, we better tap into our conscience and get to our tacit knowledge. We can use generative AI specifically in brainstorming sessions. Today when we speak about brainstorming, we automatically and for good reason think about design thinking. And my favorite model of design thinking is a concise one of three steps inspiration, ideation, and implementation. In inspiration, we collect all the knowledge, information that can be relevant to our case, that can give us ideas, that can give us knowledge, that can give us directions to think. Piece of cake, of course that generative AI can help us here. On the second level, ideation, we try thinking outside the box based on these in what new directions we can work. So I'm not saying that we stop thinking, but of course we can use the machine and ask it also to produce new out of the box ideas that we can use as an edge, as a starting point or at the middle if we're stuck in order to come up with new ideas. And again, it's really easy to understand why in the third level of the design thinking model implementation, generative AI can help us as we saw in the previous example of decision making to once we have an idea to build up the first work plan. What are we going to do tomorrow morning? Generative AI can also help us in synthesizing content deriving new understandings, i.e. tacit knowledge, the deep tacit knowledge, finding patterns, new patterns, new insights in the content of the knowledge we are seeing, we are looking at, we are exploring. It can help us in exploring new and known topics and finding understa uh, new understandings in these, finding new insights based on new patterns that the machine emphasizes on. It 
can be on marketing research, it can be uh, on the potential of generative AI, it can be uh, learning business ethics, it can be on preparing knowledge retention sessions, it can be in different dozens and thousands of different topics. Generative AI can also help us in designing knowledge-driven intelligent agents to assist in performing our TKM activities, our tacit knowledge management activities. So if a few slides ago we saw an example of a generative AI knowledge-driven intelligent agent that helps decision making, we can also design an AI in our company, Rome Global, we already have designed generative AI knowledge-driven intelligent agents that help us in knowledge retention, but not just help us asking the layman questions, what do you do, what are your roles, what are your responsibilities, but tapping into the uh, tacit knowledge, because it contains our methodologies and our best practices, what questions and how to ask in order to tap into the tacit knowledge and not stay on the top of the iceberg. Another TKM-based activity, another activity where we see a lot of tacit knowledge management within it, is when we speak about lessons learned. When we enable people, asking them why and why and why again, to deep, to dive deep and create new knowledge that may be sat here or may be based on things that sat here to create the new knowledge. And again, we have developed GAI knowledge driven intelligent agent that helps us asking the why and why, diving deep and finding the root core analysis reasons, factors that enable us to see what we can learn, creating new knowledge, creating the tacit knowledge. Again, generative AI can help us on also on this issue. Generative AI can help us in general in assisting in pattern recognition. For example, in structuring content, we have so many documents, please structure, find a structure that we can uh, write them again and again and again. For example, in knowledge bases for service centers, it can help us in defining navigation trees and additional KM or other knowledge book tasks that involve part pattern recognition. Generative AI can help us in analyzing data, highlighting the insights or visualizing the data so we can find new insights. It can help us when you see all these numbers, choosing the best way to visualize this data because we as human beings are too many times confused with the data and we use the first or one of the more popular ways to visualize it and not the most suitable one. AI can help us when we want to analyze the social network to understand what our customers or what the public thinks about us, understanding sentimental behavior and behavior analysis. It can also help us in detecting trends, not only knowing where there's an angry customer, but also understanding that there is a change that is very slowly changing, so we are not feeling it, but it's really coming. It can help us in anomaly detection, of course, important for fraud, and not only. And last but not least, generative AI has a wonderful ability to do all the routine work, and thus saving us time and freeing us to do more and more innovational work, doing more and more creative work, critical thinking work, and creating business value creation when we are leaving it with the, with the uh, specific uh, routine work. So, you know, sometimes we can't explain it all, but I really not only understand, but I also feel that we have here something great and every time I touch it it makes me happy and I put this image because of two reasons first of all 
This is a movie that time after time again as a child and later as a young girl, and even sometimes today when I go back to it, this movie made me happy and not always I understood why. But it had something within it, the tacit way of making me glad. But also because of the song, these are the part of my favorite things. And generative AI surely turned to be one of my best friends not forgetting the risks, but yes, embracing the opportunities. There are so many opportunities. Embrace them and we'll be in a total new world.